Today on RCV TV, we're going to be taking a look at the Cleta 120 from Aspire. Alright, so here we got the packaging for the Cleta 120. Let's uh, tear into it. If we can, these clamshells are crazy sometimes. So here we go. So we got the tank itself. Underneath this flap here, you have some warranty information. There is uh, some instructions right there. You also got a vape band, an extra piece of glass, and a spare coil. And so here we got the tank. It's 25 millimeters. It holds four mils of juice. Uh, you got your adjustable airflow ring on the bottom. Really, really good tension on it. It doesn't click into spots, but you can... It's got enough tension on it that it's not moving anywhere. It's a top fill tank design. So this top piece unscrews. It is a, a plastic or a Delrin. Uh, so you really want to be careful. Because pl threads in plastic, we all know that those don't last very long. So if you're using just this cap to refill it, you don't want to be cranking this on there super tight, stripping out those threads. So there is the where you fill your juice to get this apart and get at your coil. That top ring unscrews, glass just pulls right off, and then here we got your coil. So coils for this guy are 0.16, good from 100 watts to 120 watts. So let's get this sucker primed up. Today what we're going to be using is some bad attitude from the watts up line. So when I'm priming these coils, if you look in there, you can see there's those little fins. That's to help uh, stop spit back. But when I'm priming these guys, I like to put drops of juice between those fins. So, I know you guys can't see it, unfortunately, but I go around and I put about two drops between each fin. And then now, I go ahead and I put juice on these wicking holes until it stops soaking it in. Now everyone primes coils their own way. This is how I do it, and I have not had any issues with prematurely burning out any coils or anything, so. This coil holds a lot of juice. There we go. We're pretty much at the point where it stops soaking it in, on two of them anyways. There always seems to be one that'll always soak in more juice for some reason. I'm not sure why. Alright. Then once I do that, I go back to the top. And I throw about three or four more drops in there. Just to make sure. And that's her. She's nice and primed up. Glass pops back on there. And put this ring back. And I'm just gonna fill through that hole. Ring 
cap, just screw it right back on. And there you have it. That's the Cleto 120 primed and ready to go. We're going to go up top and take a vape on it. All right, so there we go. Cleto 120, all juiced up, sitting on. This is actually the Segeli 213. For more information, check the link below for our review or video on this guy. Um, I'm hitting this at 100 watts. I do have the preheat set up to 115 watts for half a second. Airflow wide open. Great flavor out of this. Obviously, great cloud production. There you have it, folks, the Cleto 120. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, and until next time, make, make smart, smart choices. choices.